Hey y'all, Emily here from fairairmusic.com. When first starting to put your home studio together, you need to ask yourself, what is going to be my studio's main purpose? Answering this will give you a much better idea of what you'll buy to suit those needs. Are you gonna be recording in your studio? Or maybe you're gonna mix songs for others? mastering or maybe even a combination of all three that's how i started out it's important to know these things so that you aren't wasting the money in your budget that can prolong getting your studio up and running now i tell you all this because i have made those mistakes and it can be frustrating and disappointing and making music should never be any of those things when you're researching for an audio interface microphones plug-in software, you're gonna think that you need the latest and greatest because so-and-so on YouTube just told me that it's the best and that's what they use. And that really might be the best for them. But is it the best for you? I'm gonna tell you with certainty from experience and results that you do not need a ton of gear or even expensive gear to make fantastic sounding records, all from your home studio. I get it, it's fun to watch people on YouTube who spend a ton of money, probably run up their credit cards, spend all of their savings on custom desk, tons of analog gear, tens of thousands of dollars on stacks of monitors. But let's be realistic here. I don't want you to max out your credit cards or spend all your savings. Not on this stuff. That's not the goal and it never should be. You can start with very minimal gear and if later on down the road it is your goal to have a pimped out studio with tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, that's great. If you're able to work your way up and make money from this, go for it, have at it, I'm proud of you. But those people inside of YouTube land are not producing better sounding music than those of us in home studios with minimal to moderate gear. It's been proven over and over and over over again. So what is the point of sharing all of this with you? It's for you to take a look around your space, map out a budget of just the essentials that you need to get started recording and getting it out there for the world to hear and appreciate and be proud of. That is the most important part of all of this. Releasing music out for anyone to hear lives forever. A little bit of us is out there forever. Think about that for a moment. So you want great results, you want professional commercial sounding results, and you can get it all from your home studio, I promise you. But before going any further, I want to tell you about my home studio gear guide that's totally free, my gift to you for starting your musical journey. This guide has a ton of recommendations at certain price points that has you and your home studio in mind. And in the next video, we'll be going over some of these products more in depth, so make sure you're subscribed and stick around for that. And as another gift to get you started in your song creation process, I have put together a start to finish guide on creating a song for commercial release. I go over everything from song idea to mastering. You can click on the links in the description to download all of these guides or go to my website. You can find the links there as well. So download that now and let's get started making some music. Thanks so much for watching y'all. We'll talk soon.